Well, your Facebook home feed could be looking a little different. This is because last week Meta announced major changes to the Facebook app. The social media platform will transform its experience into an entertainment and shopping platform, kind of like TikTok. Is this a good idea and what does it mean for users? Chief Marketing Officer of Agency Partner Interactive, Aiden Raziri, joins us now to discuss and tell us about these changes. Does it only affect Facebook app on our phones or how, how, what's that going to look like? Hey, great to be with you. Yeah, this is definitely a big change that if you've been tracking social media news lately, you're probably hearing some things saying, oh, Facebook is making some changes to be more like TikTok, which is actually quite interesting. Facebook here kind of ignoring the fact that its legacy app users on Facebook are very different than your average TikToker just in terms of all the demographic data. So, you know, now we have Facebook making a move here to kind of separate the content that you see that is typically limited to your friends, your family, your first, second, and third degree connections. Now they're really trying to focus more on the TikTok style content, more of an entertainment app that will potentially expose you to really interesting dance moves from people that you are totally just unaware of that, 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 you, that you don't even know exist until you see their great moves. Um, it's a big difference though. We're talking about sh uh, transitioning here from being a social media platform to being more of an entertainment content creation app, which of course TikTok now surpassing about a billion users. Uh, over half of their users are the short form video content creators. And so it's kind of like being a Netflix company without having to pay for talent. And so now Facebook making this change, I mean, you have to ask yourself, considering that most of the Facebook app users are baby boomers on down to millennials, do they really want to consume the same, st the same style of content that your typical Gen Z um, or your younger social media user is used to creating today? Yeah, definitely a good question. Well, Adam, is this a good time for small businesses to take advantage of that change? Always. Whenever there's a big change, that's always a time of opportunity, right? So the, the obviously it's going to be the early adopters, the ones that get in there first that are able to expose their brand in new ways to Facebook's, I would say, legacy community of social media users. You know, I was one of the first social media advertisers on Facebook itself, and just the way the app has changed over time, with each change comes new opportunities. So if you're a business and you're social if you're, if you're savvy, if you have a good social media team, uh, get in there and start creating content that could potentially be exposed to a future customer, baby boomers down to millennials. Awesome. And Adam, if anyone has any questions or want to look you up, what do they need to do? Uh, go to agencypartner.com or find Adam Raziri on LinkedIn. Happy to take any questions, concerns, shout outs, or uh, just hopefully a compliment on my tie. <laughs> I do like your tie. It's a very nice tie, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. More, we'll be right back.